Have you ever had those days when everything just flows? When your mind is clear, your heart feels light, and life moves with effortless grace. Then there are the other days, when you're dragging through thick air every task a battle no matter how hard you try. This isn't luck. It's not random. There's real science behind it, rooted in quantum mechanics and the electromagnetic nature of your body. Your energy field is measurable. It's not mystical. It's biological, electrical and deeply connected to how you experience reality. When your thoughts, emotions and body are in sync, you create what scientists call coherence. And in that state, the universe responds differently. You don't need to fake joy or force positivity. True coherence comes from alignment, not pretending. Most people live on autopilot, repeating the same thoughts, emotions and stress patterns daily. This creates a closed loop, a fixed frequency signal that broadcasts into the quantum field, shaping what you attract and how you feel. Think of yourself as a radio station. Your mind, heart and nervous system constantly transmit a signal. That signal determines your inner state and the outer reality you experience. Now, here's what few understand. Your energy works on three levels. First, your emotional frequency. Momentary shifts based on thoughts or events. Like weather, sunny one minute, stormy the next. Second, your baseline vibration, your default state when you're not trying to change anything. This is your energetic climate. And third, your coherence signature, the unique pattern that emerges when all parts of you align. This is your true location in the quantum field, the place where possibility meets presence. When you access this coherent state, synchronicities increase, opportunities appear. Life starts to feel guided, not chaotic, and you can tune into it anytime, not by fixing yourself, but by observing with awareness. Pause right now. How does your heart feel? Open, tight? What thoughts are looping? You don't need to change anything, just notice. This simple act breaks old patterns and creates space for new energy to emerge. If this resonates, no, it's not an accident. You're meant to hear this, Hit like, not just as a click, but as a declaration. I am choosing clarity. I am ready. And if you're ready to take ownership, comment. I am the architect of my frequency. Let that be your promise to yourself and the universe. Most people are at war with themselves, trying to force positivity while feeling broken inside. That struggle, it drains you. What I'm sharing isn't about pushing harder. It's about coming home to harmony, gently and repeatedly. This isn't perfection, it's practice. The real power lies in noticing when you're off balance and choosing with kindness to return. But why does this inner conflict happen? Your nervous system runs on ancient survival code. When your thoughts say, I am enough, but your body feels unworthy, your brain doesn't see growth it sees danger. A mismatch like that triggers stress. Not because you're weak, but because your biology is trying to protect you. Here's where quantum coherence changes everything. Instead of fighting your biology, coherence works with it. When your heart rhythm becomes smooth and steady through breath, presence or gratitude, it sends a clear signal. We are safe. Not faking it, feeling it. And when your heart leads with safety, your whole system relaxes. No more forcing, no more pretending. Now, here's the breakthrough science. When your heart achieves coherence, it doesn't just calm your body, it begins sinking with the earth itself. Researchers have found that a coherent heart rhythm resonates with the Schumann resonance, the planet's natural electromagnetic frequency. You literally tune into the earth's pulse that's why deep peace feels so grounding. You're not creating a new frequency out of thin air. You're aligning with the one life has evolved within. This is what ancient traditions meant by oneness with nature. Now science can measure it. Over time, this builds a stable inner state, unshaken by chaos, unbroken by setbacks. You become someone who radiates quiet strength, not because life is perfect, 
but because your energy is aligned. You've met people like this. They don't shout positivity. They embody calm. Their presence shifts the room. That's coherence in action. And here's your greatest tool. Your frequency shapes reality. Quantum physics shows that every possibility exists as potential until consciousness collapses it into experience. Your focused attention, combined with heartfelt emotion, selects which version of reality becomes real for you. But it's not just your mind doing the work. Neuroscience confirms you don't perceive the world directly. You live in a simulation built from memory, belief and expectation. And the engine behind that simulation? Your heart, your emotional state, your vibration shapes how your brain interprets everything. So thinking I am abundant while feeling lack creates internal conflict. That dissonance broadcasts a scattered signal. The universe can't respond clearly to mixed messages. True power comes when thought, emotion and body align, like a single strong radio frequency cutting through static. Each thought sends a signal. Each emotion amplifies it. Every choice either sharpens or distorts your broadcast. When all parts of you sync, heart, mind, breath, you emit a pure, coherent tone. And the quantum field responds with synchronicity. The right person appears. The perfect opportunity lands. Intuition guides you perfectly. But most fall into the trap. They chase high vibes by suppressing fear or repeating affirmations without feeling them. That's not elevation, it's denial, and it creates energetic noise. Heart coherence reveals the truth. Elevated emotions like gratitude and compassion create smooth, rhythmic waves in your heart's field. Stress and anger? Jagged, chaotic patterns. Incoherence scrambles your signal and weakens your creative power. Have you ever felt completely aligned, like life flowed effortlessly? Share in the comments. What did that feel like? What brought you there? Because awareness is the first step. You don't need to be happy all the time, just aware. Notice when you drift, then gently return, like tuning a fine instrument. First, hear the wrong note, then adjust. If this speaks to you, comment. I am the conscious architect of my reality. Let those words anchor your truth and one final key your morning routine. Right after waking, your brain is in theta, a dreamy receptive state. Your subconscious is open. This is your golden window, yet most of us ruin it, grabbing phones, checking news, replaying yesterday's stress. In seconds, we lock in low frequency energy, but imagine starting differently. One minute of breath, one moment of gratitude, one intentional thought, begin in coherence. Begin centered, and you'll spend the day not chasing peace, but radiating it. This isn't just a calming habit. It's an electromagnetic reset. Try this. Before your feet touch the floor, hand over your heart. Breathe in for five, out for five. Imagine breathing through your heart, drawing in peace, releasing tension. Then recall a moment of genuine gratitude. Let that warmth grow. In three to five minutes, your heart and breath sink. This is cardiac coherence. It calms your brain, balances hormones, strengthens your field, and deeper still, your mitochondria recharge. Your cells operate better. Your entire body learns harmony. This creates entrainment cascades. Your heart teaches your organs how to follow. Digestion improves, sleep deepens. Immunity strengthens even more. Your coherence extends beyond your body. Studies show it stabilizes the space around you. Ancient masters called this sacred space. Now we know they were describing a measurable shift. Your field radiates several feet outward. People feel it. Environments respond. So if you're ready, comment. Today, I choose coherence above all else but life will knock you off center. An email, a conflict, a sudden stressor. Without a quick reset, you fall back into reactivity. The key, the micro reset. Pause, soften your shoulders. Feel your body supported. 
Inhale for four, exhale for six. Return to your heart. Recall that morning peace. In seconds, you interrupt stress. Signal safety. Reclaim your center. This works because of something profound, non-local coherence. Your consciousness can instantly shift your biofield, no matter the trigger. You're not slowly changing chemistry. You're using awareness to quantum leap into coherence. The physical changes follow the shift, not cause it. So each reset isn't just recovery, it's reality navigation. You're steering your vibrational path, pulling better experiences toward you. That's why people report miracles. It's not luck, it's consistency. Now, attention, where you place it matters. Notifications, mental loops, past regrets. Every distraction scatters your energy. That's why you feel drained, even when nothing happened. You lost coherence. Fix it with single-pointed presence. Drink tea. Just drink tea. Feel its warmth. Listen, really listen. Give full attention. Scattered focus. Scattered life. Focused attention. Focused reality. This is the observer effect. Your awareness collapses possibility into actuality. Fragmented. Attention brings random results. Pure presence creates intentional ones. It activates your brain's direct experience network, cutting mental noise, restoring clarity. And when you're in direct experience, your field becomes clean, radiant, powerful. You stop broadcasting static. You radiate pure awareness, the organizing frequency of consciousness. People and situations begin to align effortlessly because you've become a center of harmony. Now, let's deepen this. Create your sanctuary. Close your eyes, hand on heart. Breathe slow. Imagine golden light entering with each inhale, soft, warm, nourishing. With each exhale, it expands, wrapping you in a living sphere of peace, not a wall, a sanctuary, intelligent, Loving, responsive, welcoming what serves you, releasing what doesn't. Feel warmth. Tingling, that's real. Your body listens to your intention. This field protects you, not by blocking, but by being so coherent, misalignment simply slips away. And once it's stable, you can layer in specific frequencies. Want creativity? Add inspiration, tough conversation. Bring compassion and clarity. Healing, invite peace and renewal. Each emotion has a measurable frequency. Gratitude, 540. Hats love, 528. Hats peace, 10600. Hats combine them and you get constructive interference. Waves amplifying each. Other advanced practitioners create frequency Cocktails, healing, peace, plus love, plus renewal, manifestation, gratitude, plus excitement, plus certainty, protection, strength, plus clarity, plus discernment. You're not just feeling good, you're programming your broadcast because when you radiate coherent intentional energy, you create standing wave patterns in the quantum vacuum, the field of pure potential, these become blueprints, templates, instructions for reality. That's why some people live in different worlds. They're not just thinking differently, they're transmitting differently. And now you can too. This isn't escape, it's embodiment. When your signal is strong, incompatible energy can't take hold. Safety isn't something you do, it's something you are. So if this feels true, comment, I am a walking sanctuary of peace. Feel the light around you. Know it travels with you. Now, integrate it all. Find a quiet moment. Hand on heart. Breathe in through your nose, belly rising. Exhale through your mouth. Tension melting, sink into your body. Visualize that golden light. Brighter, stronger, more coherent with each breath, anchored in the earth. 
radiant around you, whisper inwardly, I am the stillness within the storm, my inner reality is my creation, my energy is my sacred power, feel. These words vibrate deep within, you are not separate. From the quantum field, you are a conscious expression of it, every breath collapses. Possibility into reality, stay, hear, breathe, be. When you open your eyes, notice the shift, softer, calmer, more at home. This is coherence. This is high vibration, embodied. Repeat this. Daily, each time, alignment becomes more natural one day. You won't be trying to be coherent. You'll simply be it. That's your new home frequency. Before you go, anchor this. Press like, not just a click. A commitment. I choose coherence. And if this feels like home, subscribe. Let your energy say, I'm staying on this path. Thank you for being here. For opening. For choosing awareness. Every time you return to coherence, you heal not just your life, but the collective field. Remember, you are energy. Stay steady. Stay open. Watch this each morning for a week. Let it rewire your default state. And if someone needs this, share it. Not just a link, a transmission, an act of service, a ripple in the quantum field. Because when you share coherence, you expand it and that's how we change everything.